House Bill 1974 aims to change our state regulation from the required 90 days that funeral homes are expected to hold a body of someone who is unclaimed by their family from 90 days to 45 days. So what that means is if somebody passes away and has no family or is unclaimed, current Washington state law says the funeral home needs to hold that body for 90 days prior to disposition, prior to burial or most often cremation. And so House Bill 1974, in my opinion, increases the dignity for those who have no one. So do you feel that there has been an increase in unclaimed bodies coming to funeral homes? And if so, why do you think that is? I wouldn't say there's been a spike. I would say there's been a general trend. If you back up in our profession 80 to 100 years, obviously folks kind of stayed in the same community and had family within that community. Now that we're a little more uh, diverse and people are a little more uh, able to travel and be in other communities, maybe when they pass or maybe relocate to another town where there's less family for them, uh, there has been uh, a, probably a steady increase of that. Uh, and so this house bill not only restores the, the dignity of those folks who have no one, but also assist funeral homes in being able to care for that uh, individual at a, at a more reasonably timed situation. Has there been an upward trend in the number of unclaimed remains held at funeral homes? I would say no. I think that um, it's been an issue that's been dealt with by our profession for many years. And it's been an ongoing issue that, um, although it's there, I wouldn't say it's maybe the biggest issue that our profession faces. The reduction from 90 to 45 days is a benefit to the process. In neighboring states, there are actually lesser periods of time than 45 days, in some cases 10 to 20 days. So the 45 days, although good, um, could even be further improved upon maybe in the future. But I do see it as a great benefit and advantage. As the president of the Washington State Funeral Directors Association, we get feedback from our membership frequently about what we can do to improve uh, the profession at the state level, legislatively. And so it has been something that we have talked about within our association for a period of time. And so I support that not selfishly just for Brookside, but for my colleagues throughout the state. And that is our job as the state association to care for our membership and do what we can, not only for the funeral homes, but for those who pass away. Where is the bill at now? What's its current status and what's left for it to really just become official? So earlier this week, uh, we were invited to uh, the Capitol where we were present when Governor Jay Inslee signed this into law. So that was a, a great experience. And there is a, a waiting period from the time he signs it until it becomes effective. I believe that becomes effective sometime in June. And so it passed with bipartisan and unanimous support both in the House and in the Senate. So it was not a controversial issue. Everybody knows everybody deserves dignity. And so uh, we were grateful that Inslee signed that this week. And so we just anticipate its implementation in just a couple of months.